I took auto mechanics for three semesters, the spring of, of my sophomore year and both semesters of my junior year. And the graduation path I was on, you had to have three technical credits to graduate high school in addition to all the academic requirements and exit exams. So I could have three semesters of auto mechanics or three semesters of construction. In addition to the kids I encountered when I did construction my freshman year as you've heard, I didn't really take to carpentry, so I decided to do three semesters of auto mechanics. The problem was, the kids were just as bad, if not worse, and the teacher was burned out from teaching kids who didn't care year after year. I told you the coach would just let us go to do it in weightlifting. The auto mechanics instructor was the same way. In my mind, he never taught, because he thought we weren't willing to learn. I never had a car and all of this was brand new to me. I'm pretty sure all of the other students had their learner's permits at 15 and some of them had their actual license to drive. The garage had a tire balance machine, a tool cage, a lift and an alignment machine. If I learned anything in that class, it was thanks to another student, who I knew in fifth grade. He taught me how to use the impact socket. He taught me how to work the tire balance machine, put on weights and balance tires. He taught me disc brakes. He taught me drum brakes. He taught me the CV joint. Every day I would go to the tool cage, and then practice on the disc brakes and drum brakes, so I could become proficient through repetition. But through those three semesters, those kids would start on me again. One of the kids was talking about the alleged sex he was having while a group of us were standing there waiting to get into the tool cage. Then out of everyone, he turns to me and says, You don't even know what pussy looks like. I replied, I'm looking at one. We were all laughing at him as he pushed me. Another kid later threw a chair at me. Knowing my habits of going to get my tools so I could work on my brakes, some kids closed the cage and locked me in there. While I was working with the table vice, some kid came right up and kicked off my back. So I kicked his ass back. He got a punch in as the teacher came to break it up. Then one day, I was working on my brakes and they called the teacher over to another car. They had keyed my name into a car. It wasn't a tribute. They were trying to get me kicked out of class? Suspended? Expelled? There was a day when all these things were getting to me, and I asked the kid who taught me brakes if he would drive me home. He asked, You got gas money? I didn't have gas money. He didn't drive me home. I stuck out the day and never asked him again for anything at all. During my first semester of auto mechanics, in sophomore year, the Columbine High tragedy happened. I remember by my third semester of auto mechanics, during my junior year, one of the kids said to me, Remember, when you come and shoot this place up, I was nice to you. One day I brought in my mom's old VCR, because, it wouldn't rewind properly. So we took the housing off it and pressed rewind. It turned out that the band that wins was worn out. So we took a rubber band and the rewind function was good as new. The teacher put it in his office and I would come get it before I got on the bus. So after school, I got on the bus and sat there. Then it dawned on me as I took off running back toward the garage, which was on the other side of the school. Back in those days, all the televisions in the classroom had a VCR attached to them. So I got to the teacher and he let me into his office and gave me back my VCR. I didn't want the bus to leave without me so I took off running back to the bus at top speed. I was already gassing, pro wrestling speak for breathing heavy, just getting there. As I sprinted by, a teacher says, Where do you think you're going with that VCR? I ran off yelling, it's mine. The teacher got on walkie-talkie to hold the buses up from this kid who took a VCR from the school, but the auto mechanics teacher got on the walkie-talkie and told them it was my VCR. I passed all three semesters and had my required tech sealed to graduate. My only required class left was on the other side of summer in the fall of my senior year. Before we left for the year, we had an assembly in the gym. The seniors who were about to graduate were on a stage that was built for them. We juniors were in the bleachers to the left. The seniors left the stage and we took their place as the incoming seniors. Before I walked down the bleachers to take my place on stage, I looked over the railing and saw the rock thrower, who was a senior about to walk out of the gym. I called out to him. He looked up at me and for no reason at all, told me to. Shut the fuck up. Then he left. Good riddance.